Hello again, a long time I was without seeing each other, but now I'm back. I'm back uh, and I hope we do other progressive and uh, interesting topic that we can debate about. Uh, it, I'm presenting you a new topic, which is about what is going on uh, in terms of technology. But uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I have I have been searching and uh, yeah we I was working on various topic, but I saw that this topic can be interesting, and it can be very a good topic to debate about for everyone who is not uh, scared of talking about even things that we are scared of talking. So I invite you to listen to it. I have collected my information from various platform, you will see the sources through, through my document. So I use the different uh, uh, for softwares to display the audio or to present the audio, but uh, the most software that I saw that can work properly is Google Translate. So let's see. Uh, the topic that we're going to talk about is uh, about immortality. It is about immortality. It is a topic that I thought that you can be interested to, to see and uh, check on it. So I have uh, collected information which can be uh, an update about what's going on about concerning immortality. And uh, yeah, we dare to talk about it because maybe in the future it will be possible. Let's see what the the scientists are developing. Let's see what they are trying to get uh, from various sources and uh, various uh, techniques that they use because they are progressing and it is uh, admirable and it is interesting to talk about it and to see what they are doing exactly. So I won't talk the details, you will hear yourself because I have used the Google Translate. I hope Google Translate will give the message properly because I tried the, I tried the Word, Microsoft Word, but it was not doing the job so well. So let's see, but it required me to divide the top parts. So we'll be dividing top parts so that you can get the message. So let's hear what they are talking about. According to Mindboggle, a YouTube channel which published about how human will be immortal in 2050, two years ago, immortality is not far from us. Be patient and allow me to summarize about what it said before I give you an update about what is going on. It says, humans have been trying to find ways to avoid death since very long time. Modern medicine and digital media have come a long way but the fact remains that we're all just going to rot in the ground someday. That is unless one of these special scientists proclaiming the advent of human immortality turns out to be right. Will we really soon be able to cheat death with the help of technology? Number 1 Regenerative blood transfusions This could be used to extend the human lifespan by 10 to 20 years perhaps. More scientists have observed that a protein called GDF11 is very common in the blood of young mice but it is scarce in older mice. This protein has been shown to increase skeletal muscle and increase heart strength. If it can be replicated and combined with our growing knowledge of synthesizing blood, regenerative blood transfusions could become commonplace in future. Number 2 Longevity pills A pill that triggers the anti-aging enzyme, Sertone, could help to extend our days on Earth. It is estimated to extend the human lifespan by as much as 15%. Number 3 Nanobots The microscopic bots could one day be used as capsules that directly target the disease and deliver the cure without affecting the entire body. Some scientists claim that eventually we will be able to inject tiny nanoscale machines into our bodies that act like tiny pharmaceutical labs. These tiny robots would be able to detect a problem inside of your body, 
process your body's natural enzymes and proteins into a drug then deliver it to a problem spot. However, there are scientists that say it's impossible to biologically live forever because our bodies would age no matter what. Number 4 Living in Android Bodies, if this technology becomes possible. All the previous ones will be obsolete. There are people now who are trying to unlock the secrets of the brain and then make it possible to upload that person's mind into a computer which would free them from their biological body. All of the evidence in theory says that this is possible although it's extremely difficult at the present time. That's because we simply don't have the technology to map the whole human brain. If it was possible to digitize human consciousness, you would be able to move between bodies both real and synthetic. Number 5 Longevity Genes Scientists have been trying to identify longevity genes by studying 152 Spaniards and 742 Japanese centenarians. Therapy on yeast involving the protein ISW2 showed that lifespans could be extended by 25% using this sort of technique. Yeah, those are the first five uh, technology that they can use. But as we progress, we find other technology which are more advanced than the previous one. Let's see, here you can see we have number six. So we will put now from number six, let's see. Number six is a very long developed theory. So we talk about it. Uh, yeah, we talk about it and see what can give us. Oh my goodness. Oh, la, la. Yeah, we will try to see if we can. We will see if we can try to see if we can have it properly. But uh, yeah, we, we will check. The, this content, it might be seen as something that you already know, but I have added a, a, an update, an update which comes from, uh, which comes from a source that are current. So that update will be more interesting, but we have to check the background before we have to check the previous information that are already on medias in order to see how the possibility of that technology can be can can be possible to us in the future so that is the reason why i have displayed this content which is uh, very known since a long time so i wanted to share it with you so that you can see it and then check the update and verify yourself if these things are possible so uh, we will try, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm? Yes. Yes, now this is the, the second part, let's hear. Number six, cryonics. Cryonics is an effort to save lives by using temperatures so cold that a person beyond help by today's medicine can be preserved for decades or centuries until a future medical technology can restore that person to full health. Some people believe that medical science will advance so much in the next decade so that people who are cryogenically frozen could be brought back to life and have their health problems cured. There is a company that was founded in 1972 called Alcor where you can become a client of this company and when something happens to you the company immediately steps in as soon as possible to preserve your body and your brain. The first human ever frozen by cryonics was Dr. James Bedford who passed away in 1967 and is still in his cryonic chamber after 55 years. Do you really want to live forever? 
cryonics patients are no longer frozen but vitrified. First the body is placed in an ice water bath, then ice-resistant chemicals are pumped into the body taking the place of water in the blood. That way, in the next step when the body or brain is cooled below a frozen temperature using nitrogen gas, it hardens without forming cell damaging ice. Vitrification has been used effectively to preserve blood stem cells and semen but restoring life to a vitrified human or to an organ as complex as the brain remains an unfathomably distant prospect. Number 7 Gene therapy studies have shown that if gene therapy can induce cells to express telomerase, it can slow down the biological clock. Experiments in 2012 were actually successful on mice and extended their lifespan by as much as one-fourth. Number 8 3D printing organs 3D printing is developing incredibly fast and could soon be used to routinely print replacement body parts like the human heart. Advancements have been made very recently by a UK team, successfully printing replacement corneas and it is helping push this technique forward. If this technique could be extended to using fat and collagen to print new hearts, this could add decades to donors' lives. Number 9 Cloning Organs Finally. In our list of theories and technologies that could extend our lives, cloning organs is an alternative to printing organs. Cloning is not a new technology but it could be used to grow new parts of your own body. Scientists have already been able to grow body parts like ears. Bone and skin and once perfected for more complex organs it will be used indefinitely to extend someone's life. For this, I doubted about cloning an organ without sacrificing a whole human body. I had to consult Google in order to verify the information. This is what Google answered me. It says, potentially. It might be possible to clone organs by using SCNT, somatic cell nuclear transfer, to clone embryos, extracting the stem cells, and stimulating the stem cells to differentiate into the desired organ. But this will require more research. Google, the 2nd of August 2014. As you can see, cloning requires producing a whole embryo, and then extracting a stem cell. This needs to be controlled because it can sometimes be against human rights. Number 10 Artificial Intelligence Ray Kurzweil A futurist who is currently working on the Google's machine learning project, predicts that by 2029 humans will be extending their lives considerably or even indefinitely. He said we could enhance the human brain and give ourselves a godlike ability by implanting tiny robots that connects us to cloud-based computer networks. The National Science Foundation gave about half a million dollars to the universities of Central Orlando and Illinois at Chicago to support researchers who are working to discover how they can use artificial intelligence, computer imaging and archiving to generate a duplicate version of real people. SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk is even backing a brain-computer interface called Neuralink, we saw this already in the previous article. Even if this company is still in its earliest stage and has very little public presence. Neuralink is focused on creating devices that can be implanted into the human brain to allow humans to improve their memory and to have a more direct interfacing with computer devices. Musk told a crowd in Dubai over time that he thinks that we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. He added that it's mostly about the bandwidth. The speed of the connection between your brain and the digital version of yourself, particularly output. Yeah, that is what she's uh, telling us, telling us about uh, what uh, Elon Musk is doing with Neuralink and uh, the merger of uh, the human brain with the computer. So this is coming, but now it is where we are going with the update because the update, it jumps step a little bit, 
but uh, it goes with what Elon Musk was uh, working on and uh, and uh, and uh, Google. So both, uh, especially Elon Musk, uh, he's uh, on on the edge of bringing something new, on bringing something new on this discovery of keeping the human memory or the human brain into the computer. So that is what we're gonna see in the last part. Let's see if we can uh, can see it. What Elon Musk is bringing through his discovery, through his uh, creativity. Let's see. Yeah, that is it. Let's see. Let's see. So let's see. Yes, it's here. Let's hear what he is bringing. For me, artificial intelligence and number four, which is living in Android bodies, are linked and related. This is where the update comes. Recently, four newspapers have published the same news saying that the humanoid Tesla bot will be manufactured next year, 2023, and it will be an advanced robot. It will do most of the tasks that human do and don't like. In addition, they said that we will be able to upload a human mind in the bot. Here is what each newspaper says in its own words. The first one is Business Insider. The title of its article says, Elon Musk says people might download their personalities onto a humanoid robot Tesla is making. Which he says could be in moderate volume production next year. It also says, Elon Musk spoke about potential future uses for Optimus, a humanoid robot Tesla is making. Optimus is a general purpose, sort of worker droid, the Tesla CEO said. The initial role must be in work that is repetitive, boring, or dangerous. Basically, work that people don't want to do. When asked if Optimus could feature in people's daily lives, such as by lending a hand around the house, Musk concurred, saying it'd be a general focused humanoid. He said he thinks it's possible that people may one day be able to download their brain capacities into an Optimus. We could download the things that we believe make ourselves so unique, he said. Now, of course, if you're not in that body anymore, that is definitely going to be a difference. But as far as preserving our memories, our personality, I think we could do that. Business Insider March 27, 2022, 2.24 IST The second one is News 24 The title is, Ever Wanted to Be Immortal? Elon Musk's new robot might just be what you're looking for. It says, although scientists haven't figured out immortality yet, there's a project underway to at least help humans preserve their memories and personality, according to Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk. The South African-born billionaire has unveiled Optimus, a Tesla bot he claims will one day be able to store the memories and personality of humans and possibly make living forever a reality. News 2401, April, 2022. The third one is, The Street, its title is, Elon Musk builds a machine to download our brain and personalities. It reports, Tesla CEO announced he will be able to start large commercialization of a humanoid robot in 2023. The billionaire says it will soon be possible to upload your brain abilities into humanoid robots. The Street, April 22, 2022. The fourth one is Gizchina. Its title is, Elon Musk proves Tesla humanoid robots will start production next year. It states, Elon Musk issued a statement that caused a stir on the net. He said that people will be able to download their brain's capacities into their humanoid robot dubbed Optimus. As you can see, it reported by several newspapers that Elon Musk stated that people will be able to upload their personalities into Optimus. 
We know that many of the promises that Elon has promised are fulfilled. Let's see if he will accomplish this. Yeah, let's see. Let's wait and see. That is what they are promising us. You see the newspapers are telling what is going to happen. Let us wait and see. Thank you for watching this uh, presentation. Thank you for being with me. I hope you will uh, like my presentation and you will share it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.